Hello, it's Helen Howell here from Crafts You Print. Um, and today I'm going to show you another very easy card to make that um, looks quite effective when it's done. It's a central stepper card. Now, the template for this card is um, designed by Carol Dunn at Crafts You Print. Um, the lovely Santa um, and, rain, and reindeer uh, graphics come from grannyenchanted.com under license. Um, and so does the beautiful backing. Uh, delightful Doodles is the middle um, plaque. And the baubles come from Zaza Scrap and Tube under license. Now, with your card will come a um, instruction sheet which tells you which which to score and which to cut. Now, I've already done the cutting, um, and you need a nice craft knife, or in my case, I use a scalpel, and I've cut these out already. Okay, so I'll just remove the decoupage. There is one on the sheet, there is one more um, Christmas tree, but I'm being lazy and only doing two. Okay, so these, all these green marks are your score lines. Um, on the instruction sheet, you will see that it says, do not score this line all the way across the card it means all the way across there you just need to do the marked area okay because it just needs to um, bend in the middle so first of all we'll start with um, scoring these lines and hopefully we're in the groove we are I'm just making sure that I get through this gloss. Okay. And one more on this side. Right. Now we need to do the middle too. So this is a bit of a um, do a bit of a guesswork. I can lift this up and find a, a line and hopefully hope I'm on it. I'll just run my score line. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Whoops, come off just there. Need to really stay on your line. That's good. So now we'll just do the other side and we will all be scored. Right. For those of you who um, regularly watch my videos, you'll actually see I've cleaned up my bone knife. <laughs> it was, I admit, quite disgusting. scored and it's scored beautifully all the way through now i have already placed for you a label on the back so to write your message now the folds are very simple mountain fold mountain fold mountain fold valley fold so we're going to start with this one at the top here and do our best to to fold that off I've got my score line there that's it and I just get the other side done I find it easier to just bend once especially with gloss paper gloss paper can be so tricky to to do then use your um, bone knife to crisp up those scores okay now then, we've got to do this one in the middle here. Go across. 
Beautiful. And just put that down. I've got some glitter on there. Where'd that come from? And make sure that is nice and crisp. Cool. Because that's going to stand up. So now we've got to do these two. Again. You can see your score line just there. Fit it in. And I told you it's a very simple card to make. And the same on this side. So that's your valley fold. Make sure you're on your score line. And we've got one more mountain fold to do. That's this. And this. Beautiful. And you can see already how your card is going to stand up. So you've just got to make sure these folds are nice and crisp. And there's your card. So now all we've got left to do is put on the decoupage. So let's get to it. I'll, um, I told you it was a very, very easy card to do. And that's what I like, easy cards that look effective, but are not a trial to make. We'll just use these to give it some real lift. That should do it. Press them down and get the little white bits off. And don't worry that your star's gone over the top because you've got one that will um, match. So now then we just need to match this up. If we match that bottom piece up like that, these should all fall into place, she said, hopefully. Nearly, not quite, almost. Just lift carefully, otherwise you can ruin the surface of your card. That's it. Just lift that bit. And move it over a little. That's it. Okay, that's tree one. In and on. Tree two coming up. One. Not too big for that, is it? No. No, no, no. That'll hold it. And that. And that. And we do need ooh, one for the top. I'm going to use one of these little tiny ones. That's it. But to make sure it's the same height, I'm going to stick two on top of each other. There we go. And that way we don't have a variation in height. We only have to remove the paper from, I won't stick to that. I have to take that bit off and then it might stick. Oh, talk about fiddly. There we go. Get you back on. Top of them, that's it. Get the paper off. If it will come off, that is. Why are these things sent to try us like this, hey? Get that 
even again. It looks pretty much like it. Yep, there we go. Now then, there's an, I said another layer if you want to put it on. You can leave your tree just like that or you can decorate it. It's entirely up to you what you feel you want to do. So now we're going to put center on and I'll probably need two of these as well. One for his gloves. And I think I'll have to cut a piece for his bauble. I'll cut it from here. I want it to be I won't cut on there if the grooves get in the way. I'll do it just here because I haven't got my cutting board with me, of course. Just get you on. That's it. Right. Take that off. So here we go, Santa. I think I'm going to line the bobble hat up. That's probably the easiest way and get that edge right and that hand down and I'll just flatten it out and press in. There. And then a little more difficult is Rudolph because he's so tiny. So I think we're just going to have to go with these really tiny ones for him. I'll put a whole row of these down here. Make sure that sticks and get one on each ear. Or are they too big? No, that's fine because you don't want it to bend or um, break. You need to support it. That's it. Now then, where on the reindeer horns are we going to go? If at all. They're all sticking to me. Get off. <laughs> Too wide. They're going to have to be cut in half. I know they're tiny already, but that's all we can do with them. There we go. This is where I also find the scalpel comes in real handy because you can pick up these little bits. and get them on. Wow, cut you in half. Oh, pick it up. It doesn't want to cut. Fiddly. No, that one's going to fall to bits. We'll go with a new one. See if we can get a cleaner cut. Yes. Take half the paper with you. That's it. One. Now that should be enough to support him. So just push them down really hard, make sure they're good, and get them off.
Nearly done. Yeah, I said he was the fiddliest because he's so tiny compared to the other pieces. Okay, let's get him on. And we'll go by the um, antlers. That's one antler. Oh, and an ear, and an ear, and two antlers. And done. Perfect. Got a little bit of paper stuck there. it not come off nuisance see things sometimes just don't want to work do they let's get another bit without some paper preferably crafting is a good way to develop your patience things don't always go right. There we go. Come off. I nearly said it. <laughs> I've never remembered that I shouldn't. So you just smarten up on your card. And there you have your stepper card and you have a nice envelope to go with it. The template was from All About You Cards for the envelope. I hope you enjoyed watching that. And like I said, it's a simple card that um, ends up looking really quite effective. Uh, I'll see you again here sometime soon.